I have changed the turnkey game, y'all. I changed. The game's different now, man. Turnkey as you know it, it still exists, but I do it better, baby. I shouldn't say I. Me and my team. We got 60 employees here at Holton Wise, okay? Now, takes a lot of us to get the, get things moving here, right? Your, your, your boy Jay Wise, when I started my business, yeah, I'd pull a toilet myself. Haven't even been inside of a rental property in like two years, though, so like, I'm not personally still pulling toilets. If after 10 years running this business, I was still personally pulling toilets, you might have to wonder, like, well, is this guy actually good at what he does? Think about that. But as a matter of fact, I am good at what I do. And what I do is make sure out-of-state investors like you, out-of-state investors like my dude Mark, don't make mistakes. And my guy Mark saw this duplex, and I'm going to break down for him if it's a good investment or if it's a bad investment. And if it's a good investment and he wants to buy it, my team will manage it. And yes! I do have people on staff to pull them toilets because your boy JYZ ain't doing it no more because I'm too busy talking to y'all. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today's show, as I mentioned, for my man Mark. Mark is interested in buying this duplex. Now, Mark, you're an out-of-state investor, and you're interested in the Cleveland market. Why? Because Cleveland's one of the best cash flow markets in the U.S. of A. 3487 West 100th Street, Cleveland, 44111. Been on the market six days. Price, 139900 Now, this is a duplex, and uh, the upstairs is rented for like 700 and for the downstairs, they are operating it currently as an Airbnb. And you wanted my thoughts on the investment, if it makes sense, if you should buy it, what my thoughts were on them running it as an Airbnb. And let's talk about the Airbnb thing first. I fucking hate that plan. That is horrible. Terrible plan. Number one, this is like a C-grade neighborhood. Great for long-term investing, but honestly, you know who your ideal tenant is in a C-grade neighborhood? A Section 8 tenant. Uh, why in the fuck anyone would ever want a vacation uh, in like a duplex like this in this neighborhood? Don't make no sense. You ain't you ain't getting no five star reviews, dude. That would that would kill our host account. So no, that's a horrible idea. And like, look at this. It's not even like the house is like glamorous, dude. Like this is this hodgepodge of a kitchen, dude. He's got three different types of cabinetry and then a stove that clearly does not fit in the space. Um, truth be told, I actually. Going through those photos, it looks like this landlord renovated this house in the last like couple years. Uh, at one point, this house was condemned, and he renovated it. But like, I'll be honest with you, this guy kind of did like a half-ass job, really. Like the floors, uh, he didn't refinish all these wood floors; he just painted them, right? So it's 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 like real low-grade stuff. And then again, here's the other kitchen. I don't know which one of these two kitchens uh, they're doing the Airbnbs out of, but like neither are, like, incredibly nice, right? It's just, like, real low-grade, sloppy, Craigslist handyman work, um, which I, I am not excited about. So I would definitely not open that up to the Airbnb business, right? And then there's the other issue that I have here with this property, right? You see this? See all that? That's peel and paint, y'all. Peel and paint. Now, over here, right here, we have brand-new furnaces and hot water tanks, which I like quite a bit. But I don't like that peeling paint. Uh, I also don't like the fact that there's four tires in the basement, but that's really not a big deal. That's just funny. Uh, but here is what else I don't like, okay? See that? Peeling paint, peeling paint on the wood siding, okay? Now, if you don't know and you're thinking of investing in Cleveland, pay attention. This is literally the most important part of the video, folks. Recently, Cleveland, the city of Cleveland, has passed new lead paint regulations for landlords. Every two years, you have to get your house certified. This house has never been certified. The seller has not gone through the certification process. It's already actually due. This house is out of compliance. Uh, they want to sell it, and then you, the buyer, would have to go through that process. That process is a new process, just starting, brand new law changed the game the game is different 
everything you thought you knew about investing in Cleveland real estate flipped on its head because of these new certs. Now, I have a video, which you should definitely watch. Uh, it's about a half hour long, and I explain the process. If you think it's just a simple process, you would be wrong. It's incredibly cumbersome and very complicated, probably why the seller just wants to sell, doesn't want to deal with it. Does it mean you can no longer profitably invest in Cleveland? No, it does not. But what it does mean is if you buy a property like this that is 100 years old and has never gone through this process for the first time, you could, if the property has a lot of lead-based paint hazards, be looking at a huge, huge renovation bid. That's why I pointed out to you that peeling paint in the basement, peeling paint here on the outside, and then the biggie, wood-sided house, right? The biggest things we're going to be facing as we deal with this, folks, are houses that have wood siding in the old wood windows. More or less... Cleveland needs all these houses to get vinyl sided, and they need all the windows to be replaced to the, to the vinyl windows. Those are the two biggest lead hazard points. So if you're looking at the city of Cleveland uh, properties, folks, and your properties are wood sided and they don't have the new windows, there's going to be some huge costs coming, right? Garage, same thing, same issue, okay? Uh, peel and paint on that garage, okay? So we're going to have potentially some massive lead-based paint costs, which is also why it's important that I spoke to you about how I felt like the landlord currently owns this property. They're kind of like a half-ass, low-grade rental, right? Looks like he cut a lot of corners. So, all that said, does this deal make sense at $139.9? Fuck no! Absolutely the fuck not. Uh, no. I might be okay with this deal if we can get it at, like, 90 OK, because I think you're having at least 20, maybe 25 K in lead work coming up, uh, which this property's out of compliance. That's another thing out of compliance. What does that mean? Jay wise. Well, you got one tenant in there. This thing was already supposed to be lead certified. This guy didn't do it. So you know what happens if that tenant doesn't pay rent after you buy it? You go, oh, I'm evict you. No, nah, motherfucker. Can't evict them. City won't let you evict until you get it lead compliant. Right. So it may cost about 25 or so K to get you lead compliant. Could be more. Uh, again, you'll have to watch the other video where I explain the process of actually getting to the number. It takes a lot of time and effort, right? Uh, so again, this, this would need to be like 90, maybe even 80. 80 or 90, it might make sense. But at 140, dude, this is a freaking, this is a loser. This deal would make no sense. And again, I'm also a little butt hurt that they're running an Airbnb out of this. Horrible fucking plan. Uh, so for you, Mark, no way. Moving on to the next deal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.